Mr. Event has begun, as you can tell by my absolutely lovely outfit, and it's time for us to enjoy the second half of the latest update that finally has come to fruition. What's up, everybody? Welcome all back to another episode of Last Day on Earth, where today we are talking to a pack of bunnies! Ready for the hunt? Heck yes, I am. What are we hunting? Are we hunting rabbits? I hope not, because we're all literally we rabbits. I hit these strikes all across the wasteland. Hurry up to find them and tell the others. Well, don't you diddly mind if I diddly do. Hey, join the egg hunt. Well, that is definitely something that I can do, buddy. First, look at the motel. There's definitely a couple in there. Our quest has been updated for the egg hunt, and it is telling us to go to the motel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head on over to the motel. But hopefully we're not there. Seven absolutely fan freaking deaths day of the most amazing variety that are looking so getting better from here on out whether they be for the video bring you a smile bring you a giggle anything or everything like that does not matter to me how a little bit of joy can go ahead and make its way into your day today i'm just crossing my fingers and a daily do that's exactly what that joy and do do because not those words about my face like knowing that hopefully i might be able to bring one to yours in some way shape form or fashion and nothing brings me more joy than updates and new stuff in last day on earth well actually something does bring me more joy updates of permanent content because so far for like the past year we've had straight up updates of only temporary events but you know what hey something's better than nothing but i would sure as heck love something a little more permanent last day on earth please can we get like the suburbs or something dropping but we are in the middle of this easter egg hunt and as you can see on the mini map it is time for us to collect our first eggs so we have a quest telling us to go to the motel now from what the event does say which is going to be lasting for the next five days or so at the time of me recording this is that we can find these eggs in the motel laboratory sewer police station bunkers transport up farm factory and on the highway so long story short they're freaking everywhere, man. And we are going to be able to get some pretty uh, sweet rewards from them, such as the grenade launcher, tactical backpack, and also mannequin that we can place at our base to show off some of our best armor and whatnot, which is definitely pretty swiggity swiggity if you ask me. But first things first, why don't we go ahead and collect some of these eggs? And you can see in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, we have a count for how many eggs we have found. One. We have found one egg thus far, but you know what? That's okay. You gotta start somewhere. Let's go and throw this thing down and uh, we'll go and blow it up and see what everything is all about. And let me just go and after walking around for five freaking years, throw that down over here. And what is this? What do we know? Oh, actually, hold up. Hold up. We've got top secret information about everything. So what do we know about the eggs? Alpha. There's about nine in there, but before going there, we should cook some stew. Bravo. Around 12 port a bit more than in bravo but it's better to head straight to the lab the factory we counted three eggs and a couple of floater bloaters and the pump jack they say there's a whole incubator in there all that's left to do is collect some tungsten and finish building the helicopter hold the freaking phone hold the heck up there's no way that 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 last one is actually so massive on so many levels. They just acknowledged three things that I literally was just complaining about wanting, aka permanent content. Dude, could this be a flipping teaser for the pump jack, tungsten, and helicopter? Because this is the first time that these things have been recognized within a new update, dude. Last Adder has essentially ignored their existence for the past five years. But they just recognized the pump -a jack tungsten and to build the helicopter. So, dude, hold up. I think that means that we are going to be able to get tungsten from the pump -a jack location and use that for building the helicopter. Holy guacam. Okay, okay, never mind. This update might be more than meets the eye. It looks like there is something a little bit cheekier going on. And uh, we can still find two more eggs at this location, which is exactly what we intend on doing. So let's go ahead and get to open it up uh, some of these doors. I imagine they will look just like eggs over there. And uh, what should we call I mean, We had a little rundown of kind of like approximately how many eggs we can find in all the different locations and stuff. But the fact that they have recognized the free dude that is actually so massive because i think that is that they are alluding to what the future is going to be looking like do i have to bust this open myself i believe i do don't diddly mind if i diddly do exactly that and okay there is indeed egg number two behind that door which we do love to see i wonder if these eggs always spawn in the same location by the way or if they kind of get randomized depending on your run regardless holy heck that is actually massive. let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below about that because i am absolutely 
I, I'm like at a loss for words that they've done such a thing, dude. Like, I... The, I mean, that that, are, that already blows my expectations out of the water. I mean, the fact that they've recognized that. But let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below. But that is such a massive teaser for the future. And honestly, lately, here's the thing. The last time that we got a permanent update of some sort in Last Down Earth was actually like last summer in the form of the transportation hub. So I'm not going to lie. There we go. We got the last tag over there. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I mean, it, it's, we're coming up a pretty close to about a year since the last update with permanent content having come to the game and now right before like leading up to that one year mark we get that cheeky little teaser within this cheeky little note again saying about the pump check there's a whole incubator there so maybe it somehow ties in with the eggs and stuff that's not important what is important is that it appears like tungsten is going to be collected from the pump jack and that is going to lead to us building the helicopter which is actually such a huge twist because literally that was never that never seemed to be the indication for what the pump jack was going to be used for if anything the pump jack almost seemed abandoned it almost seemed like the pump jack was just getting no love and it's an abandoned part of the multiplayer world because as you know the pump jack is all the way over here and it says it's available only during clan wars which is kind of crazy because that either means one of two things one the pump jack is going to be added in or migrated into a single player location or two somehow we are actually going to be able to tie in clan wars with the pump jack and acquiring tungsten those are kind of the two main possibilities either the pump jack entirely changes and becomes a single player location or we unlock it via a freaking clan war or maybe some other kind of option that's a little bit of a mix of those two but either yeah either this becomes a single player location or we're finally getting multiplayer functionality at the pump jack and multiplayer will tie into us doing that but i mean literally that's the location that they talked about right there and they brought up collecting tungsten at that location which is the missing ingredient for none other than the helicopter something that we have wanted to build for the last like 500 years it feels like at this rate literally that's the one missing piece that we do not have 20 tungsten bars and then of course once we unlock the helicopter that is going to open the floodgates to places like bunker charlie which requires a helicopter to get there uh the oil rig which requires a helicopter uh, to get there or maybe when they said the pump jack they meant the oil rig out there since that's technically kind of like the same icon as the pump jack i mean that's kind of a possibility although this this location literally is called the pump jack but also like this one has the exact same image as the pump jack it's just over water but i don't like maybe we have to mine the tungsten out of the water i don't know i'm not a tungstenologist by any stretch of the imagination but dude this opens up a whole crazy can of worms now the suburbs of course just say available soon maybe the helicopter also ties into us being able to get over there and maybe it's kind of like tying up the bridge or like repairing the bridge but dude what we just learned has much more to do with this 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 and of course the helicopter itself which is freaking crazy so dude if that ends up being the like one permanent update content we get for the year honestly i won't even be mad because that dude the addition of tungsten the addition of the ability to build the helicopter are all just so massive on so many levels i am in just in shock at the thought of it but what up buddy rabbit how's it going good job you found them let's exchange them for rewards well okay i can go ahead and definitely do that and this is going to be the main mechanism by which we acquire rewards and presents throughout uh this update we got to trade in two eggs to get our hands on one crate and oh the 50th and 100 openings both guarantee a mannequin which is pretty freaking sweet uh here you can see some of the rewards that we are able to get and i mean even just from a quick glance it appears to be pretty good but of course with the best stuff being i mean honestly the mannequin but i mean you can't go wrong with all of these weapons and armor that do appear uh to be available i mean but without further ado let's pop this puppy open and okay we got a gas mask and five carrots which i suppose is uh pretty nice oh speaking of which while we are over here in the screen there are a few more things that we could get 
Uh, well, not a few more. The bunny presents are the thing that we were just at. Uh, the thing that I'm talking about is the carrot dispenser. Every day you get carrots and sometimes even carrot grenades. So this seems to be like a pretty cool little decoration you can throw down at your base. And it kind of essentially seems like it's going to function similarly to this, where you can interact with it every once in a while. And it will just kind of randomly give you that time. I got copper ore, for example. So usually I'll probably get carrots, but they said sometimes that I get carrot grenades, which is pretty cool. But uh, after talking to that, it does appear like there's no longer any quest line associated with this so i believe now it's just open game and it's open season and it's just up to us to go to the motel laboratory sewer police station bunkers blah 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 blah, and collect as many eggs as possible to open up as many presents as possible and again it does appear like a hundred eggs since we get it on the 50th opening we guarantee a mannequin it takes two uh what should i call it we saw the conversion rate it takes two eggs to get one of these that means a hundred eggs guaranteed guarantees you a mannequin so that's gonna be the goal that we are striving uh for but holy heck dude i'm just still like in shambles at the freaking uh, like oh just kind of like what this all means with the pump jack being referenced in game i literally think that's the first time anything has ever referenced the pump jack in last day on earth which is seriously such a huge development because the fact that they are recognizing it means that they are actively thinking about it and why the heck would you be thinking about something unless as a developer you're starting to develop something for it maybe that's just the optimistic side of me but i'm very excited to see what the heck that means and that opens up a whole realm of possibility and actually kind of makes sense because you know i was always thinking like where are we gonna get tungsten i thought that maybe the suburbs would somehow be the key to getting tungsten but honestly now that they bring it up i mean the pump jack this is kind of like an industrial like mining type of operation it kind of makes sense i get that where you can't like i mean i get that you're pumping oil technically but maybe you know there's like tungsten deposits around the area down in the mines or whatever and we got to go venture down into the depths and we can find that stuff there since it's going to be more of like an industrial mining uh type of area and that just logically makes sense and then that will ultimately open up after building up the helicopter of uh, the gateways to bunker charlie and the oil rig uh potentially so that's just literally so crazy on so many levels the fact that these three locations now have their fates tied together has me so intrigued in seeing what the future is going to hold like i'm saying let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below i am very keen on hearing what you think or how you think all this stuff is going to be tying together because all i can say is that it's going to be very very interesting and of course make sure to subscribe with that notification bell because as soon as you get more information about this and or the updates themselves do drop we're covering them but jesus out of them absolutely asap especially an update of that type of quantity and quality holy guacamole yo feed is going to be spammed with videos covering the absolute but jesus out of that because dude i mean what the, what they're referring to what they're referencing is going to potentially just be game changing man like that is going to be unreal and i am so so excited to see what that is all about so like i'm saying make sure to subscribe with that notification bell hit ladies and gentlemen uh boys and girls and while you're at it don't forget to hit that like button because i mean i think that information alone makes this video worth a like but i don't know maybe i'm biased you know <laughs> and now let's go find some eggs in every location it occurs but thank you for the eggs oh we got the hunter over here good trade Pleasure working with you as well, my friend. Yeah, I mean, this, this, I'm like the transportation hub. Let's go, zero, no one through. Can we get some of that panted, son? I pump up it. Oh, that was a hunter over there. Look at that. Ghouls Club around. And thank you. Egg number one. Could there be any inside the building? There is. Oh, we, we, we someone attempted to mug us. There's a guy waiting in here in an Easter bunny outfit. He wanted to steal all my eggs. It's right here. Let's go. Eggs you collect, you get a mannequin. All right, so here we go. We got some eggs right here. What? What is about to happen over here? There's 500 people trying to kill this man. Yay! Okay, I shot and raid some of them. Hey, over here. He, he needs some help. He looks pretty dead. Actually, I might have killed him. Or, I think I killed him. I believe I accidentally just blasted him with my shotgun. Did he drop any eggs for me? Dude, what the heck? <laughs> now, okay, it says that there's two eggs in the basement. We found egg numero uno. I gotta imagine the other one's gonna be at the end of the little factory run over here. Oh, never mind. Even easier. It's in this room. Okay, I don't even have to finish the basement run. I'm just gonna collect that. Egg acquired. Now, here's the thing. Take down the hungry, hungry hippo. 
I mean, yeah, so I'd say if y'all want to get eggs, like, most of these locations are pretty, pretty easy. Is it, it, it can't be this straightforward. Was it this straightforward? Hey, phew, I thought I'd die here. Take me to the exit. I couldn't care less about the eggs. We've got a helper with a gun. Can he die? Do I have to worry about keeping him alive? What's the deal? What's, what's his dealio? What's in here? Ah, the butcher. Well, we do have a helper. With a freaking dragon off. That's nice. We like that. We like that a lot. Let's just do as much damage to him as we physically can. And we're, we're, we're doing a freaking double decker up in here. We got two people damaging the guy. He's getting melted like Swiss cheese under the sun. My man, yeah, buddy. Woo! Easiest terminal card of my life. I love you, bunny man. And you're done. And I'll take this. Take what I can from there. Thank you for the eggs in the third and last location of this location. What happens if I take you to the exit? Are you... I'd rather just give them to you. Do I get eggs? Let's go and grab that thing right there. And we got egg number one for the Munker. Munker of the alpha variety. Okay, we got another one right there. Egg number two. In the very long hallway with the frenzy giant. And all right, after we go and take down this frenzy giant, egg number three for floor number two acquired. I thought there'd be more. More eggs! And then we'll mow down that turret and grab this thing. It, uh, and there we go. Okay, here we have the last egg. And the last egg of the fourth floor has been acquired. What the heck is going on here? They're having a fun time. We've got hundreds of weapons to search for eggs in the hub and at the factory. Oh, dude, these guys are decked out. They're ready to go. Maybe we should go to Alpha or see some cops at the station instead. These guys are about to go crazy. Look at them. To be frank, I'd go to the gas station. We can also play some slots there. Ah, I see. This man's got his priorities straight. Is that all you guys have to say? There's three of you guys looking incredibly menacing with a drone and a bunch of over-the-top weapons? Okay. And we got some extremely valuable cargo. Woo! Let's just go and take this last person down. And the egg of the sewers has been collected. Easy as can be easy. One egg in each sector of the laboratory? Wow. I'm gonna be honest, dude. That's not worth it. Oh, and they come back. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I'm not gonna go grab them, but noted. And all right, after going through that entire montage of every other location except for the laboratory, because the fact that there's only four eggs in the laboratory is actually crazy. And only one in the sewer also. So like, I'm not gonna lie, in terms of bang for your buck, stay the heck away from the laboratory. Best bang for your buck, I gotta go motel number one, just cause that's such an easy breezy location. And three eggs is awesome. The factory is pretty solid. I think the highway at the gas station might be even better because that's also a a very easy breezy location. I want to say like maybe Motel 1A, that 1B, factory shortly after that. That one just takes a little bit longer to get. Uh, and then after that, I mean, the transportation hub's a pretty difficult location. Only getting like three eggs out of that isn't anything too crazy. Uh, but then the police station's not awful. I think that and the farm would kind of be the next ones after that. And then Bunker Alpha, especially if you could like wall trick and all that jazz is pretty solid. Not to mention the fact that activating hard mode does also, uh, what you call it does the thing activating hard mode resets the floors and lets you go and gather those eggs from there as well and hello hey you're looking for eggs too i am are you gonna try to attack me like all the other people oh but i came here first you can't out, out, out hunt me okay so it's a race <coughs> we're racing <coughs> why can't i get help why can't you people be like be the person at that transportation hub that guy was legit. That was the real MVP. All right. He helped me take down the boss of the transportation hub and I had a great time. I was loving life down there. And uh, as y'all can see, I've come armed to the bloody teeth because Bunker Bravo, of course, is the most difficult location out of all of the locations that we have to worry about. And at least on floor two, there are three eggs awaiting us and we are hopefully going to do a decent job going through here. I have one ahead. And in addition to 
throwing on a bunch of guns in my inventory because we're gonna need those i have also thrown on our seaburn combat armor which is effectively the same as swat armor but also with radioactivity on top why don't we go and for this floor always gotta open the locks and i do like canceling the patrols the turrets we can just go ahead and swing on by let's just before we activate this mentally prepare ourselves because this is the first time i've done bunker bravo in a while where the event because usually y'all know there's like an event that goes on where bunker bravo is essentially 50 percent easier than usual because all the enemies like lose half of their health and stuff yeah we're doing a full difficulty run this time so uh it's gonna be a little bit more difficult about twice as difficult to be exact so let's pop some anti-red i hope that you are prepared because things are going to get absolutely bonkers baby and hopefully i don't die because i'm a little bit rusty because i have not cleared this place out in a little while the explosive zombie is going to explode here we have a riot zombie with the shield up but the shield goes out which you do love to see it. you might be thinking to yourself star where were all those clips that you were seeing though you you, you did so much oh you know what okay i'm just gonna go and mow down these turrets because i i, I don't want to worry about them I, I, i'll probably won't mow down the second row of turrets but there's just all these zombies here that we got to worry about and take down but wait, wait like star where were all those clips that you that you oh we got a freaking toxic darter coming our way i hate these guys where were those clips that yo of you going to all those locations and stuff like that why was your face cam on that's because ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that was over at twitch.tv slash the stars like we were live every single friday 6 p.m eastern time play last night earth having a ball having a blast over at twitch.tv slash stars i've linked at the very tip of the top of the description if you want to go ahead and head on over to that put the shield down man uh uh which we're going we're live every friday at 6 p.m eastern time if you don't know what time that starts in your local time twitch tv slash stars obsessed schedule we'll be able to go ahead and help you out and let's just go and barrel past that hopefully not get blown up okay we're looking good we got a dr darter and a few tougher enemies over here that we got to worry about but after we get past that initial kind of like turret room it'll be easier i'm not gonna pick up the eggs here in the heat of the moment i'm actually going to wait until we kind of double back and kind of clear this place out a second time because when you're doing a bunker bravo run you do not want to spend any unnecessary time whatsoever doing anything except for what is absolutely positively unnecessary. Man, I'm going over to Twitch TV slash Star Type the schedule. We're live every single Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Play last night, Earth, having a ball, having a blast, as y'all can see with the face cam on. With the live chat rolling, making for a pretty awesome and bit of a different experience than what you're used to here because you can interact live with the chat as everything is going down. Not to mention, see my facial reactions and stuff like that as it's happening. Just overall, it's a great way to go and kick off the weekend every single week, same time, same place, Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So looking forward to seeing some boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Over there with some bonus last night earth content coming your way as well and of course you may be like star why is bunker bravo so difficult because after a while here we're eventually going to start taking it you're going to notice it in the upper left hand corner of the screen if you have not seen a bunker bravo run before you're eventually going to start oh no oh parasites i almost forgot about those that could have been bad but it's okay we've got it all under control uh it is essentially we're on a time limit and after a certain amount of time the zombie or our, our maximum health in the upper left hand corner put the shield down brother uh our maximum health is actually going to start going down from its limit of 120 it's going to go down slowly and then eventually it starts going down really fast and dude you got to put the shield down man this is like oh and you're just gonna you're just gonna hit me like that very rude okay i'm just gonna stab you a little bit out he's gonna continue hitting me i'm gonna go and mow you down but uh those uh bro there's ain't no way there ain't no way some of those perks that we activated are essentially what that did oh we got a toxic spear over here that we got to worry about that's not very cash money I was going to try to avoid that a little bit. Oh, dude, put the shield down. You're being an absolute menace. And this guy's spitting all over the place. He heals in his own spit, which is never good. Uh, but one of the things that we activated is actually lock that room up, which is awesome because we don't have to worry about that room at all, which is great because there's definitely a lot of potential people inside of that room that we do not want to be worrying about. Let's take out the rise up before he gets a chance to hit us. And we love, love, love that. The Toxic Darters do 40 damage guaranteed to you. It doesn't matter what armor you have or what armor you don't have. Put the shield down, man. I don't want to be dealing with this stuff. But yeah, look at me. Look at me, I gotta deal with it. Why? Because that's the life of the last day out of player going through Bunker Bravo, bruh. All right, and we'll go and throw on some of the 8K Kalashnikov 47s. There are three enemies here that we gotta go and take down, and also the last of the eggs. This spewer is not gonna spew right away, though, which we do love to see, but it takes this opportunity to go and open up. Oh my god, put the freaking thing down. Open up some of these things. That'll come in handy when the actual boss of this room decides to make his appearance ever so shortly. We just need the riot zombie to... Dude, you, 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 you gotta do something about this, man. This is not... Not very very cool of you put it down there we go as soon as we kill all three of those zombies 
a very big zombie is going to appear in the form of the liquidator. Now, luckily for us, the liquidator very easily distracted by turkeys, which is great news because that will give us a chance to essentially not be getting whaled on by him. His attack is, I mean, he's very similar to the behavior of the big one slash blind one. If you look at the way, like he does like 17 damage to us with pretty good armor uh, and whatnot. But okay, we managed to distract him. He's going after some turkeys and we have brought him down to about half health, which is pretty good news. Let's get a little stabby stab going over there because of course the stab attack on the Kalashnikov 47 does ignore all armor of the enemy, including even the riot shield zombie when they have their riot shield up, which is bloody lovely, I tell you what. And then we'll continue doing a little bit of work here on the liquidator and hopefully, there we go, he's gonna go after the turkey and I'm gonna go after you. See you later, alligator. You, my friend, are done. And let's get to collecting Easter egg number one and let's double on back and get number two and number three. Once we are all said and done, we're gonna be up in the 30s with this stuff, which is pretty sweet. And again, the reason that you don't want, like, after you finish the floor, you don't have to worry about the time limit aspect of things. Also, another thing as well is uh, I have heard reports that supposedly the, uh, whatchamacallit, the eggs can randomly spawn. They're not always in the same location, at least for some locations, because when I was, uh, whatchamacallit, when we were streaming, uh, that's what people were saying, is that they were finding their eggs in different locations. So just as a note, they might not be in the exact same location. Also, this room is open because of the other, uh, switch that I activated that I had repaired, uh, whatchamacallit, for our Bunker Bravo run here. The opening locks toggle at the beginning of the floor. That opens up that room, which has really good loot, and the loot keeps on getting better every floor uh but then also there was the uh what's the name of the other toggle the like just locking the room that we essentially y'all saw those like three four zombies locked inside especially because those zombies do tend to be a little bit annoying not to mention of course that the rewards we get for clearing the floor uh, to begin with we're gonna send those top side don't see the bunny man yet so i don't know where the heck he's gonna be or what but maybe floor number three is where we get to the bottom of that mystery oh and also I've got some rewards that I got to claim from uh, doing the supply event because the supply event is going on as this event is going on, which is a great excuse. And oh, there's only two eggs on this floor. Also, another thing I was going to say, uh, like right now, dude, in terms of bang for your buck, Bunker Bravo, also very low on the list. Okay, I I would not like say like like, like I don't I don't think it's worth going to Bunker Bravo to get these things, man. But I wanted to at least do it because Bunker Bravo is always a high intensity and high octane uh, type of event. So I figured y'all might get a kick out of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this since we do have our supply maxed out. And let's see what we get from this. And we got steel plates. I'll take those. Thank you very kindly. And with that. I will close that and we will mentally prepare ourselves for this uh, floor. And this time, I'm also going to... The turrets are a little bit easier to avoid this time around, so I'm all good with that. We are again going to cancel the patrol and open up the locks. We're going to activate the system and we have two eggs that we have to worry about here. Uh, we'll start off with the Kleshnikov 47 our armor. Hopefully, that's enough armor to get us through this floor. The boss battle especially can get a little bit high octane. So we will see. But just in case of emergency, went ahead and grabbed a uh, spare kit over here. Let's pop the anti-red and we're going in, baby! And this time, at least, I don't know. I like, I, I kind of like clearing this floor more, at least until we get to the boss battle. This toxic spirits heal themselves in their own spit, by the way, in case y'all were not aware. Definitely something that you want to be very cautious and careful of. We got to get the, that guy to blow up here shortly. You can't kill him before he blows up. He's, he's, he's His mind is made up. Once he's going to blow, he's going to blow. There's nothing to be done about that. We've got an acid melt here that we definitely want to take down ASAP. There is going to be an explosive zombie that we want to get exploding he's also similar in that you can't kill him before he explodes his mind is set he's going to explode the slasher over here can definitely be an obnoxious enemy and that we want to be careful around because if he manages to get a hit off on us we are going to bleed profusely i do not want to bleed profusely and oh goodness gracious i made a little bit of a boo-boo kind of like rushing our way through this a little bit but that's all right we made it a okay and at the end of the day bunker that's what bunker brown was all about it's about rushing you want to oh goodness gracious okay that that place is a freaking death trap uh it's all about rushing this is something that you just want to do as fast as humanly possible because again the more time you spend on the floor the worse off you are going to be of course he makes me bleed man and i'm gonna double back like i said we're gonna go back for the first egg that we did see appear over there let's take you down and dude oh my god between the bleeding and everything that i'm suffering from and okay i gotta freaking step back into some spit because of that literally dude the bunker bravo is designed from the ground up to essentially just have you running for your life constantly because all of these enemies the exploding ones like between the explosive zombie the exploder the riot zombie all like even the, the spewers 
all of them are kind of built from the ground up to essentially delay you and force you to kind of like slow down and in an environment like bunker bravo that is the last thing that you want to be doing because if you slow down you're going to die my friend I mean, I, it didn't really kick in on the previous floor, luckily, but that also does tend to be pretty much the easier floor. That's why I'm usually pretty comfortable clearing it out with, uh, I mean, not really resorting to scars uh, at that point already. Uh, but y'all will probably see, especially since the boss battle on this one is a little bit longer, that start to kick in on this floor and the acid melters the thing is they're pretty nice oh come on man they're pretty nice on this or just in this area in general because if y'all don't know acid melters are absolute menaces like in the laboratory because they will all the first thing they always do is spit at you and acid melters will absolutely well they melt your armor if they do manage to get that spit off so that's like one of the last things that you actually want them uh, to be doing let's go ahead and sidestep you over there i will come back for that chest that's gonna have some goodies inside of it and then we have an explosive zombie here is going to explode and force us again to back up and slow down and y'all are going to start seeing uh, that, that thing start to happen where our maximum health is probably going to go down. I mean, we did take preventative measures like that anti-rad that we popped right at the beginning, uh, which essentially kind of re reduces the amount of radiation that we are taking on. But I'm not sure that it's going to actually be enough to get the job done. That is the room that we managed to lock up. And then over here, we have an acid melter is not going to do anything crazy. Another acid melter is not going to do anything crazy. And the turrets here are kind of decently avoidable. You always want to shoot this one on the left because it's the weaker one. And then you can sneak on by without angering. Oh, come on, put the shield down. Uh, you can pretty effectively sneak on by without angering the other turret, which is a pretty good. This guy's going to do his thing. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Because that other turret is a heavy turret, which has twice as much health and is significantly more terrifying. But if we just kind of stick to this wall, look at the minimap. Once you kind of like can split the gap between those two turrets, you can go and destroy this one. My helmet has just broken and we are now taking on a little bit more radiation than ever before. The Talk to Dart is doing some good damage to us, but we are doing A to the O to the K and we can sneak by that easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then what we are going to do is is throw on a fresh set of armor because this boss battle is going to get high octane dr dread who is capable of one-shotting us at 800 health he opens up his first room now he does this yell you have to be on the other side of a pillar to not be activated by it and he also does a lot of damage he can effectively kill you pretty much uh but every time you do 200 damage to him he will open up one of these rooms the first room is the riot zombie room now they can be an absolute menace because there's three of them oh and there's the egg actually look at that look at that uh but you you always want to try to be on the other side of one of those pillars and that's the thing man this boss battle is just very drawn out and you just gotta constantly be on the run you always gotta be like on the other side of one of those pillars when that yell happens because that yell will stun you for a long time and if he manages to get a hit off on you it's likely to be an instant kill unless you are in very fortunate circumstances because every time i've died to this guy it's been just getting stunned by the yell and then getting absolutely melted this time we're going to do a little bit more damage to him and i'm going to actually go over this way so we can try to take down this fetid corpse over here who is going to stink the place up a little bit but that's a-okay we can do that and then we are going to get him a little bit under uh, 200 health here. He's going to open up the Toxic Spear that we're going to try and take down right outside of his range. And then the nifty thing is this. I'm just going to absolutely mow the man down. Oh, no, 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 no. I messed up. I did not manage to kill him before the slasher came into action, but that's okay. Again, you just always want to be on the other side of one of those and kapow. The thing is, if you're fast enough, you can kill him, not kill the slasher, and then just run a haul, just absolutely haul to the elevator. And if you leave the floor and come back, that slasher will despawn. I messed up a little bit. I got a little bit too ambitious, but that's okay. We again are looking to be in decent shape. But this one, this floor especially can be ridiculously annoying or this boss battle when those riot zombies come out because if you have bad luck which sometimes happens dude i've literally had like had to spend minutes just like running around those riot zombies because they are just constantly like it's always like the riot zombie that happens to be in front has a shield up and every time after like you kite them around run around a little bit it just you're just running into awful luck and it's always the one in the front that has it going love the car battery that we get out of the side room in this particular instance uh but yeah, it just gets very unfortunate very quickly, but such such is life in this uh, 
in these circumstances, you know what I mean? But that's okay. Onwards and upwards, baby. That's what I always say. And let's go and get the second egg over here. And then we'll make our way onwards and upwards. Or I guess downwards, technically. Because we are going down into flow number four. And then we're going to rip open as many eggs as we freaking can. And see if maybe we're lucky enough to get a mannequin before we get to that, like, required 50 number. Where we have to do 50 crate openings before we get that. Because, I mean... I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky, though, because that seriously is a lot to get another mannequin. But another mannequin would be so sick inside of our armory, and I really would like it to happen. Uh, so we can just, I mean, it would, it's just an awesome base decoration. This floor, same dealio. We are going to open the locks, and we are canceling the patrol. We're activating the safety system, and we are going to pop an anti-rad. Ka-chow! And we now will be taking, again, just taking on seven radiation per second. And actually, dude, with the Seaburn armor, Seaburn combat armor on, like, we haven't really suffered what I was talking about. I was nervous it was going to kick in a little bit, but we're actually doing pretty good, all things considered, and not having the radiation start having its negative effects on us. So bless up for that. Life is going relatively decent, all things considered. So hopefully, all things considered, it continues going that way. Now, this toxic cloud, we are also lucky because our Seaburn combat armor does come with a filter on the face mask. So it kind of doubles as a gas mask. So we don't need to worry about that. Uh, so a little bit lucky. Otherwise, those guys would be a little bit more dangerous for us. Oh, let's definitely go and throw in some more medical supplies. I also have not seen the bunny guy, man. Where's bunny man? Where's bunny man McGee? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't, see, I don't see the man. Where are you, my friend? And let's go and get you to blow up. Thank you. Get out of range. And then I have six parasitic babies that need to go down. And let's go and throw in another scar. We definitely want overkill with the amount of weaponry we brought. But, dude, Bunker Bravo ain't no joke. Arguably the most difficult location in the game. Now, here's the thing. You might be like, Star, but what about the laboratory hard mode and all that jazz? Don't get me wrong. Those are difficult. But those are a different kind of difficult. Because there, really, it's only, a, like, it's you're only fighting enemies. Whereas here, man, you're also fighting the clock. You're fighting an active time limit because the longer you take on a floor, you just can't take long on a floor. If you take too long on a floor, like I said, your max health starts going down and eventually it, it, it starts to decrease slowly. Then it starts happening very, very quickly. So just kind of a, a, a word of warning from an experienced player of this variety. And now we are going to lure out of the event our favorite Toxic Spewa. Toxic Spewa. I got your Toxic Spewa here. Take him down. We've got some eggs over there, which actually, dude, whatever. I'll just take them now. I don't really want to double back this far. We'll go ahead and grab them now. And where the heck is the bunny man, man? That's what I want to get to the bottom of right now. And oh, no. This is a dreaded combo. The double Toxic Spewer. That is two people who have an area of effect attack that they both heal off of, and they are both doing it. That could have been so deadly. The more toxic spears you see, the more just kind of cautious you have to be because, again, it can get very out of hand very quickly because, essentially, they can both, while trying to kill you, they're also spam healing themselves. It is, like, the worst thing possible that really could happen let's get the heck out of there you are done extremely valuable cargo coming our way which you'll love to see and then we'll go ahead and let them blow up and i'm not gonna lie really quickly just to make sure we get the best bang for our buck here I, this isn't the best i would not recommend doing this but i'm gonna do this let's go and confirm that uh so we can get some more points nothing really that great i'll claim that and there we go and at least now as we do the rest of this place we can continue getting points because there will definitely be some more points coming our way and that explosive zombie decided not to explode i appreciate it that makes my life a little bit easier. Oh, of course, that guy had five health left. It's all right. We took him down just in time. <gasps> oh, no, dude. Well, word of warning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't know if you want to activate the thing that locks the guard rooms because I physically cannot get to those eggs now. I cannot get to those eggs. That is actually really freaking upsetting, dude. I am kerfuffled. I I don't feel good about that. Like, are you are you kidding me, man? Like for real, dog? Really? I I, I mean, for lack of better words, I'm in shambles. I'm in absolute freaking shambles right now, and we will get around to this shortly. Don't you worry about that. I guess I'll just kind of like step through that. We're gonna have a few enemies over here that we gotta worry about. Of course, there's a rise zombie, our favorite. Two of them! Woo! 
has two annoying enemies that I gotta worry about that take five years to freaking put down their shield so I can put them down. That's all right. I got the expedited ship and they are taken care of. What do we got inside of you? Toxic spewer. That's all that ever comes out of those freaking vents, at least in Bunker Bravo. In the laboratory, sometimes parasites come out of those vents here. It is always those dudes. Hello, Slasher, and hello, Stormtrooper, and our value of the cargo has increased, which is pretty nice. And oh, you can actually see what I was talking about. Our maximum health is starting to trickle down. 116, and the thing is, we can't heal. That part of our health bar is forever gone. I mean, we could if we popped an anti rad. Check it out, y'all can see my health over there. ka -chow. I pop that, and it does restore some of that lost stuff that we have taken. Oh, dude, it's so annoying because it, like, freaking cancels us in the middle of one of these. Uh, but, yeah, something that we do have to be cautious of. But we're doing good. This boss battle, what you want to do? Run in. Activate that. Activate that. Otherwise, this room's literally going to blow up. Find a nice spot. Not too close. If you get too close to the cocoon, it will fart on you and kill you. As weird as that sounds, that is literally what happens. It's pretty terrifying. Uh, we've got a whole ton of parasites here we got to worry about. But I just want to find a nice little sweet spot. Move out of the way if, you, you know, some parasites land right on top of you. And essentially, you are just trying to mow the cocoon down as fast as humanly possible while it is birthing many, many babies. And hopefully, we can freaking finish this off shortly. Hopefully, this scar is enough to get the job done. And it is a feature saying good night, Cocoon. And we have gotten as many Easter eggs as we possibly can. Yeah, that this thing over here can literally blow up if you're not careful. Uh, and I haven't seen the Bunny Man. And I've heard supposedly stories that the Bunny Man can't appear i pressed the wrong floor oh and i gotta go back and collect the freaking gas cylinder from floor four anyways man though that's upsetting like it's so yeah word of warning to y'all you have to be careful with that and strongly maybe consider not activating that because it does appear like those rooms are one of the rooms that can contain love the gas cylinder we get out of this by the way uh are one of the rooms that can contain exactly freaking the eggs that we're looking for so that's a bummer man and that's just something that you have to be consciously aware of. Uh, but no, I've heard that apparently the bunnies can make an appearance in Bunker Bravo. But uh, nothing really happened unless he's going to be waiting for me back in the lobby and trying to kill me and take all my stuff now that I've kind of beaten it. And now that we have beaten it, why don't we go and see all the goodies that we have got since the rewards of Bunker Bravo are, after all, some of the best parts of doing the dang thing, especially with the level of difficulty that Bunker Bravo does behold, you know? So let's go and collect all the best goodies that we possibly can. Thank you, thank you, thank you very kindly. And ooh, steel plates for show, for show, for show. I'll be taking those. And honestly, I'll probably double back and grab uh, some of the better things here that we are are kind of not able to immediately pick up because this place is again filled with awesome things i think that goes entirely without saying oh and actually you know what i missed the landmine definitely want to pick up the landmine i'll put you away for now i'm bringing the landmine home that thing goes boom boom i like things that go boom boom and there we have it went and filled up the inventory for now but yeah i don't see buddy boy Bunny boy is nowhere to be found whatsoever unless all of a sudden this room opens it doesn't uh, so unless he's waiting for me back in the lobby or maybe just things glitched since I can't open, uh, that guard post. Yeah, we're just kind of stuck, man. We're in a bit of a tricky predicament, but, uh, such is life. We, we did the most with what we could. Why don't we now make our way, not over there, but into the store where we can now open up 16 of these crates, which is pretty solid if you ask me. We can open them 10 at a time. And what do we got? We have got no mannequins, but we got a carrot grenade and 45 carrots. And I mean, just various types of armor and stuff like that. A few extremely rares there. Let's open up six more. And yeah, I mean, y'all can see the types of rewards that we get. Um, obviously the mannequin's kind of the special thing, but otherwise, here's what I would say. Don't go out of your way trying to get too many eggs unless you're really dead set on getting a mannequin uh this is a great chance to get extra loot from collecting eggs while you're kind of clearing locations anyway and especially some of the easier locations such as the motel such as the highway over at the gas station such as uh what you call the factory i mean dude literally i what we got six eggs out of here because one glitched so instead of doing bunker bravo i could have just cleared the motel and the gas station highway and gotten just as many eggs. So that's what I'm saying. I don't think this event is worth going out of your way and doing really difficult locations just for the sake of eggs, but the really easy ones, 100% worth it. And the really like 
if you're going to clear a location anyway. It's just a nice little bonus that you get on top of it, which is hard uh, to go wrong with. So that's the bulk of the event. Obviously, I'm going to continue trying to progress and get as much stuff as I possibly can within this and hopefully get some more mannequins uh, coming our way too. But time will tell and we shall see. But I think the biggest thing out of this update, man, is that crazy teaser with the pump jack, tungsten, and the hotel all there or not hotel uh bunker charlie helicopter that's what i meant to say which insinuates bunker charlie as well crazy crazy things man and it has me excited for what could be the big update of this year because i feel like as of late again like i was talking about earlier last day on earth tends to get one big update a year and if that's the big update bro it's gonna be worth the wait that's where i'm leaving it off at but with that said with that done ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's start breaking heads this episode what a blast day on earth thank you guys a whole ton of watching and i'll talk to you in the next one see ya